Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting series of the League of Inadequate Gamers. Uh, this is Josh Neutral Chaotic Duke coming at you with my good friend and uh, the last series combatant, uh, Cervantes. So, it's good to be here. Yeah, it's On good this to side, <laughs> much less stressful. <laughs> yeah. uh, Cervantes went down uh, one to two in that series, but it was it was by far like one of the most entertaining series so far this season. I mean, I know out of the two. <laughs> yeah, out of the two series, it's been excellent. Well, I appreciate you saying that, regardless. So uh, this is going to be a nice TVP series. We haven't had one of these yet, and we actually only have two Zerg, and one of them happens to be uh, Click, our good friend Click here. Uh, yeah. Then we have the uh, Green Terran Rydal in the upper right hand corner. And the map is Zell Naga Caverns, one of my personal favorites. I'm not sure if it's pronounced Riddall or Rydal. I think it's Riddall because it's like Richard Dale. I was wondering about that. I wasn't sure. All right, you know. Nope, Matt says we're wrong. Whatever. Yeah. Well. No one cares what you think, Matt. Rydal. <laughs> it's. We're like, gonna say whatever we want. It's like <laughs> Rydan. Like Metal yeah. Gear Solid to all you fans out there. So. Um, I'm interested to see how this game is going to go. Like, I I was playing uh, Matt yesterday, Duck, who keeps commenting down here. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's kind of our uh, silent caster here. Um, but I was playing against him yesterday because I just don't have any experience against the Zerg. And, uh, you know, I kind of wish Duck was here to help us shed some light on some of these, uh, some of the happenings. But... You know, two Protoss players are going to do all of this, so... Yeah, we're, we'll give it our best shot. I'm sure Matt will interject if he feels something is important. Yeah. So one thing uh, to note, I'm not going to, you know, make any predictions here or anything, but Richard is uh, far and away one of the most experienced and probably uh, one of the early favorites in our league, as yeah. opposed to Austin, who is, you know... Has had the game for like a month. I and think. are you are you trash talking our team? Like our? I'm not trying to say anything bad. I'm just saying this was a really unfortunate role for first round for Austin. Man, already, Austin's gonna hear this tonight, and he's going to freak <laughs> out. I am not trying to say anything. You know, no, we know Austin has improved very well. It's just you know. We know. I'm surprised that Austin, you know, hasn't really sent any scouts out. He, I mean, he is spreading out his overlords, which is good. But you know, there's no scouting going on. And uh, some scouting right now would be pretty darn vital. Uh, you'd see that Rydal is going factory and barracks opener with a tech lab thrown on, so we might see some Marauder action or maybe even a Reaper or ass. Uh, oh, yeah, he's gonna gonna be, yeah, he's gonna be moving the factory onto the tech lab. So, so maybe a marine siege tank mixture? I'm not sure. Yeah, siege tank's usually a good way to go. Um, I doubt he'd go for Thor. I don't see why he'd do that. But you know, Austin's now spreading out his Zerglings to uh, the Zell Naga Towers. Um, Certainly, one thing we were talking with Austin about beforehand uh, was the importance of having information, and I think he's applying those lessons very yeah, quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Austin's are under attack. Wow, that is a really loud SCV under attack. I really hope that I didn't have that. I have to. Uh, Get a little bit quieter, folks, because um, if it is recording my sound, which I believe it is, uh, that just screamed at you, and I apologize, because our SCV is under attack. Well, I mean, it is. care about our SCVs. So, uh, uh, certainly one interesting wrinkle that we uh, just discovered right before this game, Austin has been practicing in the practice league uh, for the last week, mm -hmm. and uh, we just now realized that the practice league plays at normal speed not at faster that and so true. he played a, pr a practice match right before this and uh was stunned at how fast everything moved so uh <laughs> he seems to be adjusting pretty well though he's, he's got his gas up he's uh injecting larva and he's moving his zerglings around so One he seems to be adjusting thing quickly to note though he didn't leave his zergling at either of the zelnaga towers he still doesn't know what rydal is doing and he's now moving out with three hellions <laughs> they're about to get their blue flame upgrade so this is yeah. going to be pretty painful on uh, Click's mineral line. Absolutely, and his Zerglings are pretty far removed from his base, and here he goes. Oh, oh and he's got a kite on it, too. His Zerglings do not have speed whatsoever. 
Austin is, however, going to get. Oh, he might Hydra get the surround yeah. here. Hydra list is an interesting. I think uh, I'm like a particular fan of Hydra. Uh, He's got to be really, really careful though, because if he loses all his Zerglings, he doesn't really have anything to defend his base. Um, you know what? I gotta hold on. I mean, we're gonna keep recording, but I do have to turn down the sound a little bit because it is pretty damn intense, and I might have to mix this later. We're doing this live, you know, a little bit of improv, oh, yeah. but uh... You would think after six games we'd be pros at this. You'd think. I don't know what happened to my audio settings though, because it's, it's literally just screaming at me all of a sudden, so... Whatever. Looks moving out with three Hydras now, but it looks like he might... Nope, he's gonna go right past three Hellions. Yeah, and he'll retreat them back right. pretty quick, and good thing here is at least he didn't have any probes, but... If he doesn't see these Hellions moving out, oh, this is not gonna be good. He's not looking at his mini map, I feel like, and uh, he's gonna lose so many drones here. Ride all is gonna show his experience. Yeah, he is hiding the queen? No, yeah. he's avoiding the queen, it looks like, but, uh, I mean, the queen's gotta be careful. Ride all yet to lose a single unit, and Austin in the line is going down. Oh, Rick, he didn't pull those drones, but, yeah, this. Well, he, he, he managed to get rid of two of the Hellions, actually. Yeah, he might he has, be able to send off this. He attack. has these Zerglings right here that just aren't doing anything, and I don't know what he's doing, but he's, he's going to need to build some some drones here really, really quickly. Absolutely. Meanwhile, Rydal has is getting everything yeah. in a bag of chips. He's got a Stargate coming up. He's got his exp expansion CC being built, another barracks. And pumping another, out Hellions and Marines and Another effects. command center going down as well to grab another expansion, so... Unless Austin wants to do some kind of timing push here, which I don't think he has enough units to really attack anything. There's a drop going out right now, and hopefully, uh, Rydal or Austin will catch each other. Ooh, these Hydras oh, could actually oh. pick off the drop! Oh, that would be so big! Oh, oh what a big That is big! Oh. Oh. I will have to rescind my comment about this on the hydras yeah, I don't they... I don't know if that was just luck or if that was you know, well you know what we'll go with pure skill we'll go that with was pure awesome. skill that was a great read by uh by Cliff anticipating the drop <laughs> and that's what he needed to do that whole time he needed to send some zerglings up oh well, the hydras uh, back not, that, not that not that not that don't do that we're just praising you <laughs> well he only loses one and oh no two more were rallied up there does he see them oh he stops he them he saw them but uh, he's Martin. still okay. He is building some more drones, but I mean, income is just so bad right now for Click, and you know he really needed to focus on some drones for a while. Um, well, that's certainly one thing that is easy to get caught up in. If you have an attack on your mineral line, we saw this happen to me last night. Uh, it's easy, you know, you you start to rebuild the mineral line, but it's easy to get distracted because you feel a lot of pressure to push out. Yeah. Immediately. And it's easy to get distracted. But you know some of that early aggression uh, might actually play out pretty well here. If he uh, moves up these units at the right time, he might actually be able to catch all of this out off guard. And uh, it looks like he's just going to camp by the Zelnaga Tower. I just wish he's... If like army supply, technically Click has a larger army right now. It's yeah. just it's a bad mismatch though with all the Hellions. And now there's a siege tank on the field as well. Well, but with so many units, like the siege tank really isn't going to be able to do that much. And there is only one Hellion. I just really wish Click would push out. He doesn't know he has the unit advantage, but... I mean, oh, I know Zerg units are fragile, and uh, I know Click probably doesn't have the economy, or doesn't feel like he has the economy to do anything, but if he just try it, you know? Well, certainly one of the things we've learned in, the, in our last two matchups is the, the intuition about when to push and when not is probably the hardest thing to yeah, gain in this, in this game, so... Uh, I'm actually very impressed with how Click is holding up in this game after, uh, you know, how he how he sold himself right beforehand. Yeah. But I mean, again, if you just look, I mean, well, I was gonna say it's the difference between experience and not, but I can't really say anything because Click was just building more drones. Drones. We'll see if he uh, builds any more here. I feel like he just needs more drones. He's going Zerg, and he needs the economy to back up his forces. I mean. Absolutely, and we see actually Rydal has a very large number of uh, minerals backed up, and I'm not sure if he's trying to do something fancy, maybe getting distracted, or maybe he's just maybe he doesn't have not concerned. Yeah, well, and also he 
You know, he does have a barracks. I was gonna say that. Oh, no, I see why. He's supply, supply blocked. Supply blocked. Oh, man, this is gonna be huge. If Click can just push out now, Vital does not have enough. Oh, no, it is. <laughs> As Duck does remind us, there's a drop incoming. Uh, I'm looking for it. I don't see it anywhere. Though. I mean, while Click has pushed out and destroyed Yeah, and this is big. I mean, bottom left corner. Oh, there is a drop. Oh, and there it is. It's, we might yeah. almost have... Oh, and Click pushes back. But I feel like no. if he just would have kept off... Oh, no. He's going to... He needs to pull drones. And honestly, if he just kept up with that attack, he might have been in a base race situation. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, if you look at the base, he, he right on had a handful of Marines and one oh, a Good surround there. Uh, and Rydal's going to run away with that. Well, I guess not. Um, He's coming right back, assuming that the Zerglings ran out to the middle. Yeah, drop him now. He's a little bit, a little cool preemptive there. on Click's part to uh, not pull anything. He does get a good surround again, and he just needs to be careful. Get the hydras in there and take out this drop, and you know, build some more drones. You have thirteen. <laughs> it's not enough. Click. Oh, it was such an impressive attack on the expansion too. It really was. I mean, it sniped a couple. Uh, drones and if we look at the units killed tab it's actually a lot more even than it seems like click has killed 10 workers and uh just off of one attack i mean it's it's not a bad thing although we do oh boy do you see what i see in the production tab uh i see cloak uh yeah. banshees and vikings we coming have down cloak banshees coming down and click just does not have anything down to detect any of this that is certainly one thing. There's been a lot of back and forth between the drone armies, but the whole time Rydal has been expanding, researching, whereas uh, Click is stuck with his fun and cool and hydrogen. But I, you know, I do like this a lot. Like, Click does have Rydal kind of back into a corner. Get the hydras on the CC. You can drop it really Oh, fast. get it on fire. If he gets it on fire, yep, stop attacking. Now attack Oh, and that's oh, huge. Yeah. Drop the CC, which is a big win for Click. The only thing I'm worried about is a counter right now. Uh, you know, Click has no economy. He, I mean, he has some minerals saved up, and he's definitely going to be trying to build some more units. But man, he has a lot of larva right now, but he's not building. Oh, he's actually got another drop. The drop came back, and that could be. Oh, oh yeah. he's running ten circling. I guess that'll be enough. Hopefully. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully. Interestingly, Rydal chooses to pick up. I think he saw that the eggs were about to hatch, and he's going to move down to the expansion and do a ton of damage down here. and Just completely destroy the economy. Click is, okay, he's smart. He's moving down the Zerglings, but he, he needs to the pull drones. these drones. Oh, no. There we go. Just oh, not no. uh -huh. good. Get right them drones out. Passing. And you know that does a lot of psychological damage, it's too. It's really, really hard. You know, usually it's the Zergs running in speedlings, but... Ride all just kind of microing, and uh, you know, I'm actually going to switch to his view right now, see everything that he's doing. Um, you know, he's looking around the map, he's trying to get his base set back up. Good he's movement. moving up with his Vikings and tanks right now, so yeah, he might be trying to snipe. Attack. He might be trying to snipe some of these overlords and kind of put him in a supply block situation. Yeah, I'm not really sure. It seems Rydal's uh, playing a lot more conservatively than he needs to. I wonder if he's just, uh, uh, maybe he's just playing it safe. There is a very large force, himself. though, coming up on the right-hand side, and uh, Click has yet to really uh, look that way. So yeah, this is going to be a little unexpected. Understandably, Click is kind of, uh, a little slack on the scouting. I think neither uh, side has really scouted that much, I feel. Yeah, and we're gonna. I'm gonna look right now and see if I click this up. Click does not see any of this stuff. By another drop in the middle line, and, and this is all probably gonna be game. Couple more zerglings put into the fight. It's just I not nearly enough. Yeah, there's almost five. Broodlings come out. The little baby zergs are gonna try their damnedest, but. Well, certainly, Click uh, gave us a much better battle. Than the yeah, I'm looking forward to the rest of this series, and, uh, you know. And if this is how well Click plays after a month, by the end of the season, I feel like he'd definitely be a real contender. Oh, I do too, definitely. 
uh, we'll see what happens. I'm surprised he's not GG in all honesty, but you know what? I give him a lot of credit. One thing we know about Austin yeah, here it is. Slow <laughs> so there's the GG. Well, that was a, a very interesting first game. A very good first game indeed.